Hello. So on this guitar, it has already been, it's a candy apple red, and it has already been sprayed with an undercoat and uh, then a white base coat and um, then gold, metallic, and then red, a uh, transparent red, the candy apple part of it. And a little um, black speck uh, got sprayed right there where you see me wiping my hand on the red part, a little booger. So I sanded it out. And I'm attempting to touch up that area. So I had already sanded it out with that kind of paper you see here. This is 600 grit, but it's sort of a fabric type sandpaper. And uh, so now that I've got that little black speck sanded out, I went through the red and uh, I need to touch this area up. So on candy metallic colors like this one, um, Touching it up doesn't always work, but I'm going to give it a shot. So I can't just spray red only right there over that area because you'll always see it and it'll look weird. So I've got the gold uh, metallic there, and I'm just going to try to very uh, lightly spray a little bit of that gold metallic in that area. And so here I am just spraying a little gold to get coverage on the area that I had sanded. So, uh, but then right there where you see me pointing, um, that's too hard of an edge on the metallic, so you'll probably see it. So now I'm trying to fade out that, so that edge with metallic and make sort of a softer sort of uh, bleed in, well, whatever the word would be there, to the gold. So it's just uh, more gradual looking. And um, now I'm going to put the red on there. And uh, I had narrated this video as I was making it, but the sound quality was so poor. So now I'm trying to remember all the, all the things I said. So now I've got the transparent red here. And um, I'm going to start from the outside edge of the gold I had sprayed on there and spray towards the middle of the um, gold. So rather than spray the middle of the gold, I'm spraying, does this make sense? Just very, very light amounts of this transparent red aiming towards the middle part of the touch-up. Trying to fog in that uh, faded area of the gold I made. Doing touch-ups on transparent colors and metallics is difficult because um, it's it's hard to not get a halo around the outside edges, like uh, where I stopped spraying the gold, even though I faded it out. Sometimes you'll always just see that. Or when you put the red on like I'm doing, it'll be a darker sort of ring around that whole area. So uh, it, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So... Once I get it kind of fogged in there, um, and then I make sure the middle area, the main area, is covered with the red, about the same color, then I'll just even the whole thing up to kind of try to blend it all in. Um, so it still looks, like, still looks like it needs a little bit more red, a little darker right there. And uh, so I shot some more, and uh, that's where I'm explaining how you'll get a darker ring there sometimes if you... Uh, if you aren't careful, and even if you are careful, sometimes you still will. Candy Apple Red's a little more forgiving than some of the other candy colors, so I got lucky on this one. Now I'm going to spray some clear lacquer over the whole back side of it, just so I can see better um, what the touch-up looks like. So it's hard to spray. There's no, it's hard to see, I mean. There's no clear on it, you know, prior until just right now. So I'm just kind of seeing, okay, how does the blend look? How does it look? And uh, I think on this one, I kind of got lucky and I got away with it. So touching up a candy apple red guitar is, uh, can be done, but uh, it's not a 100% deal.